Chapter 9.5, Quick Review, Exercise 1 through 10. In uh, Chapter 1.5 or Section uh, 9.5 of Chapter 5, what we're doing is we're going into series. And from Section 9.4, we were in, we started on sequences, and in, in uh, Section 9.5, going to series. So this is kind of a bridge exercise between the two. And in exercise 1 through 4, a sub n is arithmetic. Use the given information to find a sub 10. And here you're given a sub 1, which is 4, and d equals 2. And d equals our common difference. Okay. And common difference is used, if we use this, we call recursively, we say, uh, a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 2. And so if we add 2 every time to the subsequent term in the series, we go to the next one, we'll eventually get up to a sub 10. Well, between, between a sub 1 and a sub 10, how many jumps do we need to to go to to get from a sub 1 to a sub 10. Well, there are going to be nine, nine intervening uh, intervals of two apiece. And so our equation for this, our what we call explicit rule, is going to be a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the difference, our common difference is 2 times the quantity n minus 1. Let's say in this case, we're going to look for a sub 10, and that's going to be our first term, which is 4, plus 2 times our quantity, where n is 10, so we have 10 minus 1, which equals 4 plus 2 times 9, which equals 4 plus 18. And so a sub 10 is equal to 22. And we could have kept on going up by 2 at a time until eventually getting to our 10th term, a sub 10. So that is our answer. And we go on to problem 3. Next odd number problem, and we say uh, again exercise one to four a sub n is arithmetic. Use a given information to find a sub ten. Here, we're given two terms, a sub three, and that equals six. I'm going to put six right below there, and I'm going to put a sub eight, and a sub eight is twenty one. And so we can't just take a sub 8 minus a sub 3, what we're going to need to do is figure out how many terms apart are a sub 8 and a sub 3. Well, 8 minus 3 is 5, so we are five terms separated between those two. And now we look at the numbers here between 6 and 21. What is our uh, distance, our, our difference between these two numbers? Well, it's going to be 21 minus 6, or 15. And stated another way, we can take 6 plus 15 and equal 21. And so we know that per term, all right, we have 15 covered by five terms. We know that, the, that this is an arithmetic situation. So we have three. So our recursive rule, I think we're, since a sub 8 is close to a sub 10, we're going to go for recursive rule. We're going to say a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 plus 3. And therefore, we would go for a sub 8 equals 21 we would say a sub 9 is going to be equal to 
put in n. a sub 9 is equal to a sub 8. Um, which is n minus 1 plus 3. In this case, we're going to have 21 plus 3, which equals 24. And so that's a sub 9. a sub 10, which is what we're looking for, equals a sub 9. a sub 9 plus 3, which equals 24 plus 3 which equals 27. So we say a sub 10 equals 27. And that is our answer to problem number 3 in our quick review. Okay, to the next one. We go to our next algebra problem, 5. In this case, exercises uh, 5 through 8, a sub n is geometric. Use the given information to find a sub 10. In this case, we're given, let's find our common ratio. Our common ratio is found by taking any uh, term, we'll call a sub n, and dividing it by its previous term, in this case, a sub n minus 1. And the only two terms we have are a sub 2 and a sub 1. So r is going to be equal to 2 over 1, which equals 2. And so what we have is a sub n, we're going to go ahead and put an explicit version here, a sub n is equal to our initial value. What's our initial value? a sub 1 times 2 to the power of, we have n, I put a parenthesis there, times 2 to the power of n minus 1. And we can actually check this out for our for our first term. If we say a a sub zero, well that's going to be one times two to the power of one minus one, which equals one times two to the power of zero, which equals one times one, which equals one. So that checks out. And we're going to try a sub a sub uh, of um, No, 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 I meant to put a sub 1 here. I put a sub 0. That was a mis... I meant to put a sub 1 equals 1 times. Okay. a sub 1, okay. That's it. Now let's look at a sub 2. Well, a sub 2 is going to be 1 times 2 to the power of 2 minus 1, n, n minus 1, which equals 1 times 2 to the power of 1, which equals 2. Check. So this is our recursive rule. So now we can just say a sub 10, not a recursive rule, our explicit rule. We have 1 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1, which equals uh, 1 times, which is 2 to the power of 9. And we can just go in our head 2 times 2 equals 4, 4 times 2 equals 8, and so on, up to 9. But we're going to go to our calculator here. Let me bring our calculator back to a, to a dimension that we can see here. Here we go. There's our calculator. And we're going to put in calculator again. We're going to put in 2 to the power of 9 and we get 512. So 512 is our answer for a sub 10. So a sub 10 equals 512. Okay, box this in. And we go on to problem number 7, which is uh, a sub 7 equals 5 and r equals negative 2. Use the given information to find a sub 10. Well, in this case, we have a sub 7. I'm going to put this a sub 7 equals 5. I'll put 5 below. And to get to our subsequent next term, a, a sub 8 we 
we say a sub 8, we're going to multiply by negative 2, our common different, a common ratio. And so we have, if we have 5 times negative 2, what do we get? We're going to get negative 10. To get to our next subsequently greater term, we're going to take 10 and multiply it by negative 2 to get a sub 9, which is going to be negative 10 times negative 2, it will be 20. And to get this a sub 10, we go one more time, we go to, to find a sub 10, we need to take 20 times negative 2 to get negative 40. And as a recursive rule, we could say a sub n equals uh, negative 2 times a sub n minus 1. So whatever term you have, you multiply that term by negative 2 to get to the next highest term. So our, in this case, we just write down our answer a sub 10 is equal to negative 40. Okay, we go to our next and last on our problem, which is 9. Find the sum of the first five terms of the sequence, n, n squared. And so there are ways to do this on your calculator that can really save some time. But basically, we're looking at this. We're looking at our first term would be a sub 1, which is going to be 1 squared. And our second term is going to be a sub 2, which is 2 squared. Our, our next term, our third term, a sub 3, is going to be uh, n squared, which is 3 squared. And a sub 4 is equal to 4 squared. And a sub 5, which is our fifth and last term of this sequence is going to be 5 squared. So we have, we're going to calculate these below. We're going to have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25. And we're going to kind of assemble these together. Or just Okay, 1 plus 4. That is, that is 5. 5 plus 9 is 14. 14, which we get through here, plus 16 is 30. And 30 plus 25 is going to be 55. And so we're going to learn in uh, this section 9.5 to uh, make a summation notation. So that would uh, be 55 here. So that's all the odd number problems here. Good luck on the rest of this. Again, introductory um, exercise to working on series, which would be the summation of terms in a sequence, essentially. Good luck to you, and thank you for viewing.